to the channel. Well, if you're new here, we are Tomas Coast to Coast. And what we do is we take these outdated RVs and make it look brand new inside and outside. And you guys step by step how to go from this to this. Yeah, stay tuned. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, consider subscribing. Like, I'm gonna be removing some of these cabinets out. So I'm gonna be showing you how we move these, how do we save some of these hardware for future projects or things like that. Um, how do we disassemble them if it's something you don't like in your RV. Uh, some people decide to just kind of paint them because they look nice with the decor they're going for. Today we're going to be removing this one. These are a couple of tools that I keep in hand uh, when I'm doing the demo removing any cabinets. Uh, first thing is a number two square bit. Um, then it's always to, to have a uh, extension for it to reach up into the cabinets and things like that. Impact drill. Um, and I have some of these just in case one's really hard to get it off um, I think this is like a tool for flooring something like that you can find at your local hardware store um, yeah and over here we take the hinges off first and then we take these screws from the inside of the cabin screws from the lights okay so this cabin has a couple lights underneath here um, this one had only two screws, which I took it off there. This one, you have to remove. I'm gonna give you a better vision here. Better look. So you have to move this screen to have access to the screws for it. Um, and then this one, which is an outlet, you just pop it, pop the cover and then unscrew these pieces and pull it out. Now we have the RV completely disconnected from electricity. So we don't get bit by electricity. Um, so you can actually cut these wires um, so you can work on removing this. And then what I would do is after you cut these wires, put electrical tape on it just to kind of make sure it's they don't touch each other and even if the electricity is off just as a extra step of precaution taking some more screws off the lights to remove the lights then even more screws from the inside of the cabinets uh, it's a never-ending screws plus screws on top of screws are oh, we also removing some of the trims inside So these cabinets have uh, anchors in here and in here. Um, I'm gonna try to show you. So right along here, let's see if it's showing. Yeah, right along here you have screws that you need to address before you take everything down. And usually, and usually they get two pieces of Luan and they'll sandwich the frame that runs like this so they have underneath this in here they have screws running along that line which is basically what's holding these, this whole thing oh and over here with that tool I told you about earlier I'm just kind of pulling it out because this has been nailed and it's off um, so See, this is what's important, the, the extension before. Now the other thing too is that now you can use as a reference of the size of screws, you're gonna put it back here in case you need to put a shelf or anything like that. Basically you're gonna be using this so you're not poking outside of your RV. And another one that way. Now, 
once you uh, remove all these screws, you have these trim pieces right here. Again, with this tool, you can kind of just scoop it from underneath um, and pull it up. They've been nailed down. They've been nailed down and stuff. Uh, so you can also save these for later on if you have gaps like this. This is essentially a tape. So if you have to cover up somewhere else and just replace with the trim if you do that if you want to. Uh, we tend to paint the whole RV so we usually don't use those again. But it's a good tip right there. That piece of trim in the middle I just popped up with the little crowbar it was just nailed down then i kept working on the uh, trim inside of the cabinets and once i removed all of that stuff underneath i was able just to pop up that panel it came right down all right so once we got all the trim from the inside out all the screws we had access to it uh, the only thing left is to separate these and you can also Cut the, the wires from the lights so you can pull them back. Um, we got some here too. We've got three lights here. So now in the future you can reuse these wires to put pocket lights or any type of light. This is a 12 volt. Um, they they run through the support pieces from either side, sometimes from the top. So just, just be careful with that. As of right now, we're gonna try to push everything towards this side because it comes off of this wall. Uh, so we already free that one. Right now, I can't because of these. So I'm gonna have to cut it again right here. Oh, and this is one of the things you should pay attention to. It's how they're wired. Um, they're basically being tapped into it so the electricity can keep going to this one if you put a switch here but you want like independent lights when you turn one off all of them is going to go off if the switch is just here so just pay attention to how it's wired if you're going to do it um reinstall the lights uh, you should just kind of replicate what they have here in this case i'm going to have to nip this just to pass the wire through it so I'm not gonna have access to this anymore. Right there. So pull this piece down. Comes right off. Um, usually you have um, wood shavings and sometimes mice droplets in here and things like that. So be aware of that. And also, and then you can just pull up the um, these boards, which are all nailed in. Uh, these are the like, screws I mentioned that you have to gain access to. So there's two here, two here, and I think that's it. And then this all, this whole thing would be able to come down with it. Right. After removing all the Luan panels, I gained access to the screws that were hiding inside. Took them all out. It was so many screws. And the whole piece came out. I left that little piece to show you more detail what I did. the screw off the wall and you see signs of rusting, it's because you got some type of water infiltration in the wall. So just be mindful of it, kind of track it, but the water could be traveling to and from. Um, in this case, I took it out this hole right there. This is the slide, so I'm assuming we might probably gonna find some water issue over here, but it's honestly normal for 99.9% .9 of our There's some things you find in here, like a half of a cockroach. It's not the worst, but not the best. Yep. Oh, I got the piece of the cockroach here. Cockroach. <laughs> All right. So this is a perfect example of how they set up the, the cabinets, the interior of the cabinets. If you look in there, there's a screw right there. 
and this was basically the wall from one side and the other of the cabinets was built up here so you ought to remove some of the stuff you got to make sure you get access to it kind of pull these panels out so you're gonna see there's another screw right there so where is that right here. No rust on it. With the top one, and then it should just come out like that. Wraps up the uh, removing a cabinet. Um, if you look down here, I have saved a lot of good stuff from it. Uh, we got some uh, pretty interesting hardware, you know, hinges screws these screws are pretty good you know sometimes they they bend or they have some rust on it I'll just get rid of them but if they're good like this you can always reuse them all right that's how good it smells in here this is for our finds that we found like are rather bad we got first this like Pretty cool dragon necklace with a, I don't know, a T. Yeah. Pretty cool actually. Then we have this, which is cartridge for one of those smoky things. I smoke, so I don't know. Yeah. And we found a kitty cat. Look at that. Move the head and everything. With its alien, with the eagle head, and a weapon. Definitely it's a weapon, look at that. Look at that, that's pretty cool, come on. We found this weird beach with a face. It's kind of scary, like, I don't know. Some weird rock. I thought it was like a mouse fetus. It's weird, it's gross. <laughs> and the pen. So, that's, that's the, the finds for today.